I think there's so much in this film. I mean, in this series. And and by the way, it feels very. Um, it feels big like a film. It doesn't feel like. Well, one you can binge it, right? Oh, good. And I would yeah. tell people that it's a highly bingeable. You will not. I had to stop because I had to come to work, <laughs> right? You know, to do this interview. Yeah. So, but I totally. I'm gonna run back home and finish it. It's really well crafted in that yeah. way. Our showrunner Maggie Freeman did an excellent job leaving you hanging almost every episode. Every it episode. makes it really hard to walk away from it. Yeah. Um, and binging, quite frankly, is my favorite way to watch TV. So I, I I'm into it. <laughs> well, okay, so, you know, you come from the days of episodic TV yes. where you had to wait a whole week and everything. Yes. So, really, you enjoy binging more. Do you, I really do you do. watch any shows where you have to wait for the next week? No, I do, but I will not watch them when they air. I wait till the season's over so I can binge them. You know, That's I was something. a massive This Is Us fan, and I would yeah. wait. I would have that you, what that resistance, that re- resilience. I would resist. <laughs> <laughs> and I would wait until I was at least 10 episodes into the season before I would start watching it. Because wow. I want, I they also would leave you on some pretty significant oh, yeah. cliffhangers. And, and always with your chias in your hands. Yeah, I can't like go right? to bed at night being like, I wonder <laughs> what's going to happen. Like, oh man, no, I got to be able to sleep. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I mean, what shows are you watching right now that you absolutely love? Oh, I watch From- so much. Um, I'm a big TV person. I, I think I read something recently where somebody doesn't have a TV in their home and are raising their children without <laughs> devices. And I was like, I had that moment of like, oh, I'm fucking it all up. And then I was like, no, you're never going to no. be able to take my TV away yeah, from me. I'm like, sorry. Do you have a TV in the bedroom? Uh, I do, but I very rarely watch it yeah, there because I just fall asleep. I want to yeah. watch. I don't want to fall asleep. Yeah. So I have we have a great comfy couch in the living room, a great mm-hmm. TV and a sound system. I am in for the night. <laughs> right. So yeah, I good. binged... Um, uh, uh, the English. Mm-hmm. That's a hard one to binge. It's I don't a, know it. it's beautiful. It's uh, Emily Blunt. It's oh, beautiful. Okay. It's a really powerful story. It is very heavy. There is some real sorrow in it. So it, it okay. So not it, holiday it, cheer. No, <laughs> okay. not holiday cheer. Not that one. Um, and then the other thing I binged that was much lighter. What was it? Oh, it wasn't lighter. It was. Also, heart wrenching was from scratch. Oh, love that! But I thought it was. I I was. I felt encouraged at the end. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It was so beautiful. But you definitely cry. Yeah, you definitely, <laughs> you definitely cry. cry. But yeah. my God, those actors did such a beautiful yeah, Zoe job. Zoe Saldana oh, is. She was just broke out of the mold that we thought of her. At yeah, the I end guess end. so. But I I didn't even. I was like, look at her. Just I, I felt like she was that woman, mm-hmm. and I felt so deeply what she was feeling she did such a beautiful job communicating it and again i think it's a really beautiful story it's not meant to leave you like oh why should any of us bother let's just give up now it's it was left you with a sense of hope and that that it you know it's better again we all know the saying it's better to love and and lost lost than it is to never loved at all so beautiful 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 definitely 